to get round two from the terrible burnout. Of course, you know, you had to get some lubricant on the ground, some water, so. Gotta get back in the groove, back in the groove. Oh, <laughs> no excuses. Has to do it. Oh. What do you got in the back of that thing? There's gotta be a lot of up. We're trying to figure out ride height on the car. Still got a little bit of welding to do on this side. It's not painted yet, but it's on there. You gotta cut out these coil buckets, make room for the coilovers. And this side. It's all nice and painted. I don't know if you can see that. This side's completely done. <laughs> I did try out the TIG welder not that long ago. I did, this is chromoly, so we were trying to figure it out. We heard it's a little bit different. We don't know much about it. I migged it here and TIGged it right here. My first time ever TIG welding, so. But yeah, like I said, we're just trying to figure out ride height and everything. It's all a learning curve, so. All right, we just got the uh, coilover mounts welded on the axle. Got to figure out the bar length for up here to go across. And we got to weld on the tabs, obviously mount the coilovers after that. Ooh, that's it. All right, we just got the lower uh, mounts on, coilover mounts, got the bar mounted up here. Well, not mounted, but tacked in. I got this side tacked in. Nothing's really gonna change from here on out. I do have to move this coilover, bring it in towards the center a little bit more, but that's it. So pretty much that'll be complete besides these welds here. And then finishing these welds, obviously coilover mount there. <laughs> all right, got everything all final, burned in. Everything's all welded. That's hot. We're getting the spacers, put in the lower control arms. Still got to do this side. And then obviously bolt the coilovers back up. What else? All right, coilovers are in. Everything's mounted, tightened up. <laughs> oh, never mind. Not tightened up. What ain't tightened up? That top coilover bolt on this side. Well, why didn't you tighten it up? Oh yeah, okay. This car, <laughs> that looks so much better. Uh oh. Think so? Yeah. Do you have keys for those or for I the just lift it up and I'll come down some. Okay. But we may have to actually move the shock down. Oh on the bracket? Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. That's fine. You wanna do that first or? Yeah, let's just try to get the right real quick. All right. <laughs> Nice, nice, Tommy. No help, I've tried. Get yours out. Nate finally showed up to come to work four hours late. Where's <laughs> Yeah, he's leaving, but we just adjusted the ride height so it sits a little bit lower in the rear. Come on.
The lug nuts aren't tight if it's... It might not be. Well, that one might be a little different too because of the control arms. Yeah, we haven't said anything. Whole front of the car breaks off. I mean, I can drop the spring right now. <laughs> more holes now. Hey, do you have those spacers on number four because it would rub the fender, the tire, on the rear axle? Oof. That did a difference. Uh -huh. So that did a difference. The uh, swing bar is hitting the floor now. Seriously? Mm -hmm. That's shorter than lengths. Yeah. It's pretty good. Can you screw them in? No, I gotta make Jeez. the length shorter. Oh. All right, we just got everything done. Got it all painted, finished welding this side. So everything's completely done. Only thing we don't have is this lower control arm is now tubular and heim jointed. This side is not because, well, we have the other one. We just don't have a 5 h drill bit to drill through it. So we're waiting on that. I believe that's the only thing besides obviously put all the fuel lines back and everything. So next video, the car will be on the ground, probably obviously driving. Thursday night. Ooh, just got word, Thursday night, Test and Tune will be at Bradenton Motorsports Park. So that'll be the first time this thing will be on the track. Hopefully, hopefully, my welds all hold up. I'm not really worried about it. The only thing that that's intriguing is how thin the frame is here now. If you can see that. Everything looks good. The car, obviously we got the ride height adjusted. We didn't change it from the last time we had it on the ground. That's where it's gonna sit and stay. We just had to get, obviously, the side welded, like I said, and we still do the other control arm. So that'll be it for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We are almost at a thousand subscribers, so that is huge for me. I did not expect for YouTube to come get a get a turnaround that quick honestly from you guys and have this many subscribers already so thank you guys i appreciate every single one of you who have su subscribed thank you so much what was that oh you're <laughs> you're exhausted it's the ground <laughs> all right you gotta make up for tyler because you know he brought the whole family down oh yeah He has like a whole palm tree. It, got, it went forward, dude. Ah, dude, one tire is not gonna push three. Alright. Ready? Yeah. Keep it right there. Don't move. Watch it go! Oh god! It sounds like air coming out of the air We poured him a puddle and everything. Ah, <laughs> oh, I almost have to put him to shame.